Hello, I'm Edward Tart, once a Catholic priest for five years in the 1960s, now an atheist, which simply means I find no credible evidence for the existence of any God. Today is February 5th, 2012. This is a follow-up to my video of two days ago in which I played excerpts of a sermon that local Catholic priest, Father TJ, sent me. Since he invited me to give him feedback, I did so in that video, and many of you gave him feedback also in your comments. Father TJ is immediately going on a week-long retreat in which he will remain silent for the entire week, contemplating his commitment to his Catholic faith and to his priesthood. But a few hours ago, before beginning his retreat, he emailed me the following message. Thanks for playing so much of my sermon for your viewers and giving them the link to the parish website. I feel like I owe you something for helping evangelize the Word of God. I just wanted to tell you thanks, and I'll be praying for you, your viewers, and all of your intentions when I'm on retreat this week. This concept of praying for another person's intentions seems to me to be primarily a phenomenon within the Catholic Church. As I understand it, Father TJ is telling us that he will pray to his God something like this. God, I would like my prayers for Edward Tart and his viewers to reinforce whatever they would pray for if they believed in you. Well, I have typed a response to that aspect of his email. However, I have decided not to email my response to him, but instead to say it in this video. Here is my response to Father TJ. Hello TJ, thank you for watching the video and for, I presume, reading the comments. You say that you will pray for my intentions. One of my intentions is that the following movement in our nation will move forward with all deliberate speed. The movement for gays to be accepted for who they are, not to be considered sinners when they practice homosexual intimacy, and that gay couples will, will quickly gain the right to marry, just as surely as male and female couples have that right. Will you, Father TJ, include that intention of mine in what you pray for? Another intention of mine is that if, near the end of my life, I will be about to suffer prolonged severe pain, I can choose how to end my own life with dignity without interference from the Catholic religion or any religion and that with all deliberate speed there will be widespread acknowledgement that my life belongs to me, not to any God, and that the same end-of-life choice will quickly become available to all humans on this planet. Father T.J., will you include that intention of mine in what you pray for? Another intention of mine is that Pope Benedict will in the very near future be put on trial for aiding and abetting the abuse of young boys by Catholic priests and also be put on trial for contributing to a large number of deaths in Africa by telling Africans that they must not use condoms. Will you include that intention of mine in what you pray for? One more. Another intention of mine is that atheists will quickly no longer be the most despised group of people in our nation, almost totally incapable of being elected to public office, ostracized as being immoral. That atheists will be accepted as being people capable of just as much goodness and competence as any other group of people. Father T.J., will you include that intention of mine in what you pray for? Sincerely, Edward Tart. That concludes my response to Father T.J. To you viewers, 
I invite you also in the comments section to respond to his email if you are so inclined. Father TJ said in his email that he feels as if he owes me something. Well, one of my commenters called upon him to play my disclaimer after every one of his sermons. That's asking a whole lot. Father TJ, would you be willing to play my disclaimer after even one of your sermons? To all of you, thank you for watching this video.